Hey, Bayek, it's me Ian. And in today's video, I'm going to take a look at The Church from 1989. It's an Italian supernatural um, horror film and it's rather good. In fact, it's not rather good, it's brilliant. I love it. Absolutely love it. Hey, I do. Anyhow, um, it's uh, 100 minutes long. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes, well, they give it 64%, which I suppose isn't too bad for them. But, hey, this film is fantastic. I really do love this film. Now, the screenplay of this um, Italian film is Dario Argento. Aha, uh -huh, yes. And Franco uh, Farini. And... Michelle Soave. Michelle Soave, of course, happens to be the director as well of this film. But yes, he was involved in the screenplay. Um, it's produced by Dario Argento, Mario um, Careshi Gori, or Vittoria Careshi Gori. Hey, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> yes. So, it's directed by Michel Sarvi. Um, now, Stage Fright 1987 was a film he did before this. Then, after this, he did The Sect, which I love. I've got The Sect. It's a great film. It's from 1991. Also, he did the very popular... Cemetery Man from 1994. Um, such a great um, films. And, um, well, his direction is fantastic. He's obviously learned a lot from the master, um, Argento. Certainly has. And he, he does such a wonderful job. A fantastic job. Now, this film was filmed at... Um, Matthias Church in Budapest, also the studios in Rome, and also um, in downtown Hamburg, Germany. And all this fits so well together. It gives the film a certain look and style, and that is also beautifully um, done because you, you, it's one of those films that you look at and think, wow, wow, this, this. It just, just jumps out at you. It does, honestly. It does. Um, it's. Um, I think it was also conceived as part of the uh, demons. Um, it was going to be part of a demons trilogy. We'd had demons, the first demons in nineteen eighty five. Then we'd had demons two in nineteen eighty six, and thought, oh, we'll do a demons three, but. It didn't happen. It didn't happen because I think he saw, he wanted this to be his own take. Um, he wanted, he said, something more sophisticated. And he does that. He brings the style and sophistication in this film beautifully. It does. Um, so we'll look at the um, actors involved. We've got Hugh Karashi as Father Gus. Father Gus. Yes, he's very important to this film. And, of course, Hugh Koreshi was saying, Who's he? Well, I'll tell you, he's a Ghanaian British actor. He was in Islander, 1986. He was in Nightbreed, 1990. And he was in Star Wars, Phantom Menace. Yes, Phantom Menace. And then, of course, I love it. He's been in Doctor Who. Yes, he was in... The um, Series 3, 2007, 10th Doctor in Daleks in Manhattan and Evolution of the Daleks. Wow. I love that. Um, that's a particularly great series with Martha as the companion for the 10th Doctor as well. I love that. So I love that connection. We've got that connection. Yes, we found a Doctor Who connection. Then we've got... Um, Thomas Arana, or Arana, I think, playing Evan. Evan. Now, he's an American actor. 
And, wow, some of these films I might just think, wow. He was in The Hunt for Red October, 1990. Uh, he was in um, The Sect, 1991. See a link with this director. Often these directors, they, they get an actor they like and think, oh, yeah, I'll use them again. And he's here returning in The Sect. He was in The Bodyguard, 1992, the Whitney Houston film. Wow, oh, Whitney. And um, Kevin Costner, fantastic bodyguard. He was in that. Then L.A. Confidential, 1997. Uh, what a lot of films. The Born Supremacy, 2004. And I'll just put this last one in, even though there's, there's more. But I'll put this, The Dark Knight Rises, uh, uh, 2012. What a, what a films. Fantastic. What a great pedigree already you can see in this. Then we've got... Aisha Argento playing Lottie. Now she is the daughter of uh, Dario Argento. She was in Demons too, and then she also um, was in the third part of the Suspirio Inferno trilogy, The Mother of Tears, in 2007. She also has been a director and then in recent years more controversial in other areas. Um, the Weinstein stuff, Me Too, and all that, but I won't go into all that. She's involved in a bit of controversy with that. But anyhow, she's she plays Lottie, a very important character in this. Um, then we've got Barbara Cupsisti, Cupsisti, playing uh, Lisa. Oh, like, yeah, Lisa, it would be. Um, no, she was in, yes, New York Ripper. Wow, New York Ripper, what a film from nineteen ninety from nineteen eighty two. Classic slasher film, absolute classic. Wow. And she was in Opera, nineteen eighty seven. She was in um Cemetery Man, nineteen ninety four. Cemetery Man, same director again. And um she um you know, you just look, she she became a documentary sort of film director as well. It's 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 wonderful to see these people doing all these things. Um interesting just as sort of a a little bit of trivia as well. Now the director, the uh, Michel Sauvy, he plays as a police officer, makes appearance. Sometimes the directors love doing this thing. Uh, though he has an acting background, they love just popping up in the films, and there he is. Here you get it all here, don't you? Here you do. <laughs> so, um, let me talk about, um, yeah, the music in the film as well. Um, the music was um, originally going to be um, written by uh, Keith Emerson, but Argento rejected it. Keith Emerson, ELP, prog rock, all that. And then in the end, we ended up with Goblin and... Um, Philip Glass involved in the soundtrack. And the soundtrack is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It really is. It just adds so much to the atmosphere of the film. So what is this film about? What is this film? It is, well, the start of the film, I love the start of the film because it's, it's quite a great introduction. It really gets you into the whole feel and atmosphere of the film. You've got these, like, Teutonic Knights from the medieval period. They're like the sort of, I'm going to say, church police, if you want to call them that, enforcing the uh, Christianity and people who perhaps uh, don't want Christianity, but they're getting it. And um, it ends up with a massacre. Um, they are basically getting rid of all these people they believe are possessed by demons and the witches and all that kind of uh, satanic stuff. They they massacred them all. They buried them. And um, it's decided that they want to come keep the evil in the ground. So what better way of doing that, they think, is build a church on it. Yes, the clever idea, isn't it? Or is it? <laughs> so they put a church on top of this... Um, uh, burial ground, if you want to call it. Yeah, you can, might as well call it a burial ground of all these. And that presence is still there, but they think they've sealed it in. 
and the architect who is involved in creating the church believes he creates this mechanism where as if the evil escapes out you know comes up into the church the church will lock itself and seal it in so that it doesn't get out into the outside world that is the theory behind this um and that then um is the sort of background to all this and then we get into the contemporary world the story of the um new librarian coming um he's um then meets um this artist and they develop a relationship but he's very much interested in the mythology as well behind all this and he discovers all these things and he loves the whole atmosphere of these you know paintings and um, manuscripts and you know the legends behind all this and that's how the film starts to develop from that and the many various characters until of course eventually the unthinkable does happen that the it's all unleashed into the church and we get all the story about the chaos and everything that ensues with people trapped inside the church and how they're going to fight it and of course the father gus character comes to the forefront as the man who's going to lead the fight against the evil um and it's and also the the lotte the young girl is also important as well in this um uh, as you see in the film, i'm not going to give you all into all the details of it but i love this film it's a film that i can just watch and watch and I just admire it so much. It's it's an easy film, but it, let make no mistake about it. It's a gory film as well. It's um, very uh, tense. It's quite horrific in places, but it's so well that you just sit there admiring the 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 special effects done there. Are all not none of this CGI stuff. It's all sort of model related and uh, everything they do and the. The other great thing is the church, the, the 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 way you look at the church. I love churches. I do really love churches. They're works of art, and this displays the architecture, but all those sort of relics and artifacts within that. It, it builds, again, it builds the atmosphere, the mythology of it all, and it's so well done. And then you get into the underground parts of the church, and, oh, tunnels and everything it's all here and it's so atmospheric and then we get make the mixture with the sort of contemporary modern world we get all that as well we see that and it's great i love it i love that mix and you know about them you could go into deeper sort of talk thinking about you know what evil and all that and what is happening and um the revenge if you want to call it like that there's so many issues and wonderful things to just look at and contemplate and it's it's a very very enjoyable film it really is uh, I, I can't recommend it enough i mean i really can't um and um i don't want to give anything else away about the ending as well the ending is great and what a great ending um now in 2016 um this was released on blu-ray with this this um edition um and it's a great edition look at this look at that cover outstanding cover um now it's 2k restoration and it's uncut it claims to be so we're getting the full um version here because i think there obviously were certain problems with sensors with some of the sort of gory scenes in this sexual scenes as well uh look at this what a, isn't that a great disc isn't it now there isn't a great deal of extras on here but the one the major one is an interview with uh michelle sovey and the director goes into loads of detail it's a great interview and you get all the background his ideas and thoughts about the film um it, I, it's highly recommended to watch that it really is i do i do recommend this I really do um 
absolutely love it. Um, and, and it's quite reasonable. I think I looked on Amazon. It was only twelve ninety nine. Still, yeah. She can't say a fair of that, and it's still available. So if you've not seen it, you know, just take a look. It's worth it. Honestly, it's worth it. I'm not a salesman, but uh, I love it. And as you can see, I really do love it. It's one of my favourite films, definitely. Um, though I've got a lot of favourite films. <laughs> um, one other word. Um, it's only a quick one. Um, I mentioned the music, didn't I? Goblin. Now, this uh, Beyond the Darkness CD has a lot of their film music on here. I have got the Suspiria soundtrack by Goblin, but on here we have got, yes, some music from the church. It's on here. Yes. So I can enjoy that as well, as well as all their other great stuff that they did. Um, in some of the films, it's just great. I, um, this extra bonus having this, it really is, because I, I do love the music. And I think that's it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so if you're new to the channel, just stumbled along here and thought, hey, he's going on a bit, but you liked it and you want to know more about what I do with reviews and collecting and TV, movies, this and that, you know, well, please subscribe and we'll let you know when I produce videos. And if you like this, please give it a like. It helps with algorithms. So hopefully more other people might discover this or they might not want to when they see it, but... We'll see anyhow. And I say it all costs no, which you can't say fair than that. And yes, yes, if you've got any comments, please put some comments down and I'll answer all the comments. And that costs no either. You know, you can't say fair than that, can you? Hey, bye. So all I've got to say is I'll see thee. I'll see thee again.